looking for a model that we should work towards, here's an example from the 25th anniversary of the ADA. A video with accommodations for the deaf and blind including descriptive audio and text used for captioning that can be formatted differently and placed at different places on the screen. I apologize for the quality of the audio here and there, but hey, we've got captions. 6th, 1990, President George H.W. Bush stands at a podium. With today's signing of the landmark Americans for Disabilities Act, every man, woman, and child with a disability can now pass through once closed doors into a bright new era of equality, independence, and freedom. 25 years later, the Americans with Disabilities Act is an integral part of our nation's civil rights journey. Former White House advisor Claudia Gordon signs. Images feature disability rights marches, a bus painted with the words, The Road to Freedom, performances by people with disabilities, and museum displays. Words appear at parades, trade shows, on a nationwide bus tour, during rallies, dance performances and marches, and inside a mobile museum, we celebrate the ADA. Daryl Chill Mitchell, disability activist and actor. The importance of the ADA is very important because it gives people almost a level playing field. A parade celebrates the ADA. A man uses a wheelchair. Drew Walker, Atlanta. If the ADA wasn't in place, I wouldn't be able to get around Atlanta because I couldn't get on a bus. The parade proceeds down a street. Amanda Alford, Atlanta. My Cherokee Senator, my sink and bathroom sink for the first time in my entire life. A banner reads, Captioning Matters. Jenna Coulter, Louisville, Kentucky. So in the past 25 years since the ADA has been enacted, when we caption, it seems like everybody that we caption for, um, we always get emails that are like, thank you, you've changed my life because I can now go through college because I can have communication access that I didn't have before. Looking at what others are doing, Gallaudet University is a university for deaf and hard of hearing students. We thought they would be a pretty good model for captioning videos. Here are a couple of examples from a recent graduation ceremony and then a student activities promotion. Thank you, please be seated. Our faculty and staff also deserve credit for their support and work with you. They believed in you, they challenged you, and they supported you while you were students to arrive at this day. First, will our faculty please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. Now will our staff also please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. One thing we noticed after scouring their site and looking at many examples was that almost every single video used YouTube and its captioning utilities. The way the captions appear is classic YouTube output. 
Yes, there was no audio on the video featuring the student body president and vice president. Interesting that captioning is often used to interpret sign language for those of us with audio dependencies. Our biggest takeaway was that although it lacks some desirable features, such as being able to format text and control the placement of captions, YouTube should definitely put in the captioning toolbox. We looked at the video technologies we use on campus and created a roadmap to captioning with a series of mini guides. Click on the road to get to our mini guides. Note, we've had great success with a transcription service named Rev. They charge a dollar per minute to transcribe, type up what is said on video that then can be applied to captions. Let's look at some of the captioning tools in YouTube. www.youtube.com To work with YouTube, you will need to establish a Google account to sign into YouTube. Since being acquired by Google, if you already have a Gmail or Google account used for Google Docs, Google Sites, etc., you can use that account name and password to sign in and work on your video in YouTube. You can upload videos directly from your computer, laptop, or device to YouTube using the Upload button. YouTube supports a number of video formats. Many times we use the software that comes with our web cameras to produce videos. Saving as or converting to an MP4 file has worked very well. We have also had very good luck using the camera app on iPads and iPhones. Getting to Video Manager is where all the magic happens. Click on My Channel, then Video Manager. Sometimes it is hard to find. This is where you can edit your videos and add captions. Let's look at auto captions. A very recent example was a lesson we made on using smart boards. Hello, this is John Akrazoglu and welcome to a tech chat on smart boards. Interactive whiteboards, such as a smart board, allows teachers and students to control a projective presentation by directly touching it as opposed to sitting behind a computer and using a mouse and a keyboard. A smart board uses much of the same touch sensitive technologies that tablet PCs, PDAs, and other handheld devices use to recognize where the surface is being touched. You should be able to do everything you normally do on a computer with a mouse or keyboard by directly touching the smart board. Educators report smart boards motivate students and open up new opportunities for engagement, collaborative strategies, and new exciting ways to use technology. If captions are not appearing for a video, try clicking on the CC button tool within the video itself. To fix naughty captions, click on the CC tool below the video screen. Sometimes it takes a few minutes for auto captions to be processed and appear. Select English, Automatic, Edit, and Overwrite to fix up errors. With good audio, auto captioning does not do a bad job. I was wearing a headset and tried to speak as clearly as I could. Notice that auto captions does nothing with punctuation. You need to fix stuff like periods and capital letters. We can also have the original audio playing at the same time to help guide us, but I thought having both my narrative and the audio going at the same time may be a bit confusing or, or annoying. As a side note, I have developed painful arthritic conditions on my index fingers and not having to type every word is huge. It sort of fills the role of an assistive application. When we finish, we click on Publish Edits to save changes to captions.
finally, the next time you play the video, your captioning edits should now appear. Hello, this is John Akrazoglu, and welcome to a Tech Chat on Smart Boards. Interactive whiteboards, such as a smart board, allows teachers and students to control a projective presentation by directly touching it, as opposed to sitting behind a computer and using a mouse and a keyboard. A smart board uses much of the same touch sensitive technologies that tablet PCs, PDAs, and other handheld devices use to recognize where the surface is being touched. You should be able to do everything you normally do on a computer with a mouse or keyboard by directly touching the smart board. A quick note on security. Clicking on the tool info and settings lets you choose the level of security for the video. Unlisted, anyone you give the video URL to can play it, but search engines won't find it. Public lets anyone see it. Private, only accounts you authorize can view it. Save changes. By the way, my thumbnail sketched the video as the Greek Parthenon, which comes up later in the video. Choose the CC tool, which is now on top of the video, to look at other captioning options. If you have a transcript of what was said, you can upload it as a text file and have it converted to captions. You have two options towards uploading a transcript. Upload a file and transcribe in AutoSync. With Transcribe and AutoSync, a box will appear and you can directly paste the text into it. Let's upload my captions, my transcript that is, by clicking on Add New Subtitles or CC, English, Upload a File, and selecting the text file. The box appears up with the text. Click on Set Timing to synchronize the text and audio. It may take a few minutes for the process to be completed. YouTube does an outstanding job of matching things together. The only hiccup is that apostrophes change to strange graphics, but these are easy to fix. Notice the actual timings are indicated next to the text. Again, I can also be listening to the video to help guide proofreading of captions. If you ever need to supply the text and timing code for another application or program, you can download the file under the Actions menu. Finally, the last way to create captions is to type them in as you listen to the video. Click on Add New Subtitles or CC, English, Create New Subtitles or CC. As you listen to the video, you can type into the text entry box. There's even a spell checker. The captions appear exactly as they would appear on the video. When you are done with a group of captions, click the plus or enter key for a new group. It's easy to pause, listen, and restart the video as you type. You can move the marker to expand or lessen the captioning segment.
click on publish when you are finished.